I'm at a place called Barrington Hall in the county of Herefordshire and look all these sheep on the side here and there's a lovely lovely pond over there and you think oh my goodness the sheep they're going to come and eat everything but no there is a kind of a ditch down here and this is known as a ha-ha <laughs> And why is it called a ha ha? Because it kind of looks like everything continues, but as you come and you realise there's a ditch and you're just about to fall into it, you go, aha! And uh, so you don't fall into it. But it, it serves to make it look like the sheep can come right up to the house, but in fact they can't. They're um, in their own domain. That's right. And this is the front of Barrington Hall in this very red sandstone. And um, it's a bit like my White House drawing, so maybe I could do something, a little drawing about this as a English country home. Country house, rather. <laughs> it's a bit more than a home, isn't it? And so, from, and so from here, then we can swing around this beautiful classic English countryside, Capability Brown countryside, and you can see it goes straight across there. You'd never know that ha-ha was there, but the sheep are there, and we're here. And here we have an idyllic, tranquil scene, looking across the lake, a swan gliding across it, across the deer park and the sheep and everything, the cows, and uh, and as we come, this kind of an island, it, these looks a little bit kind of like Andy Goldsworthy sculptures, but I don't think they are. I'm not quite sure. Now over here we have classic English parkland. And it's mostly oak trees, but you can see there's a kind of a flat <laughs> line underneath. And that's where all the cows come in underneath, just grazing the young leaves. Oh, and there are the cows. So there's always a kind of a... The height, of the, the height that a cow can reach to nibble leaves. That's where the leaves come down to. It's a classic kind of... Oh, sheep are going off for something over there. Classic English parkland. Hey, Shuba Doodlers. Now, you've heard about the Japanese tea ceremony. Well, this is the English tea ceremony. This is Eating cream in the rain. tea. In the rain, of course. <laughs> We're out here in the rain. And um, so this is a, a scone. Some people call them scones. There's a big argument whether to pronounce it scones or scones. And it's an argument whether you put your clotted cream on first or your jam, which is, might be jelly to you. And, but we reckon you put the jam on first and then you put the clotted cream on. And clotted cream is so thick, it's almost like butter. Can you see? Oh. And you take a great scoop of that. Ah, oh, I said, I can't somehow. And then you put it on there like that. Aren't there? So I can't do this and film. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. There it is. And then you go, oh. And it's delicious. I promise you, very delicious. So if ever you're in England, cream tea, that's what you want. Well, I'm just going to leave you with. Uh, some images of plants and things like that from the gardens and uh, and this is just to remind you that, that drawing isn't all just about sitting there and drawing you need to go out and be inspired so uh, if there's somewhere nice near you go out and have a, have a day out sometimes you just need to relax and kind of ooh, you know get that those creative juices going from somewhere so uh, in the meantime, when you're not doing that, keep drawing, 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 <laughs> practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. You take care now. Bye-bye.